Hello there and welcome. In one of my most previous videos I made Stockfish and Komodo play a one second game against each other. And as we know there was some mistakes if you have seen the video of course. So today I figured I will do the complete opposite. I will make them play a five hour game. So I let them play the game overnight and I just looked at the game review now and uh, oh my god. If the accuracy was very high. There was pretty much no mistakes, and there was two brilliant moves from both sides. So, I'm pretty excited to look through this, so let's get into it. So, you start with D4. As I I haven't looked through the entire game yet, I just looked at the game review, and I know the result of the game. So, yeah. D4, D5, C4, E6. So, there's a Queen's Gambit decline played. I know that's a very solid opening at the top levels. Knight C6, Knight C3, I mean, Knight F6. Knight f3, bishop b4, queen a4 check, and knight c6. So this is called the queen's gambit declined. Ragosin alkyne variation. Go e3, castles, and queen c2. So this is still theory. We have b6, and we have bishop d2. The first move who isn't apparently the best according to chess.com, but it's still a good move. Bishop a6, we have queen a4 again, bishop back to b7, and we have takes, c takes d5, e takes d5, and bishop b5, put some pressure on the knight. The queen goes to d6, defending the knight, and a3. Ooh, so now the bishop has to take, I assume, yeah, otherwise, if the bishop moved back, he will also take, if the bishop moved here, it would get trapped. So he takes, Stockfish takes back with this pawn, with this bishop, and knight e4, where rook c1, knight back to d8, castles, and c5, striking in the center, wow. Okay, Stockfish takes, Commodo takes, and Stockfish plays bishop e5, attacking the queen, queen back to e7, and bishop d3, c4, Bishop back to c2, with a5, okay, best move, and queen b5, g6, and h4, wow, takes some space on the king side, I assume, I mean, not assume, that's basically what happened, uh, we have a knight c5, we have rook fd1, rook a6, and b4, takes, takes, Knight d7 and bishop c7. Obviously setting up this, taking and then taking the bishop. So Komodo plays knight f6, which apparently is a great move. Because now, if, if takes, takes, this can take because the bishop will be defended by the queen. Uh, so we have bishop g3. And knight c6. So here, Stockfish has a slight advantage at 0 0.22. We have queen c5 offering the queen trade, and Komodo takes. Take. And rook c8. We have rook b1 attacking the bishop, knight d8 defending the bishop, and rook b6 offering the trade, also attacking the knight. So pretty much not forcing a trade actually. So, okay, rook takes that. Rook takes. Bishop takes back, and bishop e5. So now Komodo is up a pawn here. However, I feel like Stockfish has done compensation in the form of bear plays bishop and obviously the bishop pair, as well as this pawn is pretty much a target for now. Uh, we have bishop c3, bishop e7, and knight e5. Rook c8, and bishop a4. Knight d6, knight d7. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have knight e4, bishop e5, knight c6, bishop, wow, a1. Um, right, ooh, okay. So f3, so now takes and takes. Alright, takes. So now Stockfish doesn't have the bishop pair anymore. However, these pawns are now split up. And it's, uh, according to the evaluation, a completely drop is position. And knight f6, king f8, 
Knight takes h7, really. Not even taking this pawn. Hmm, okay. Pig e7. And, wow, bishop f6 check. That's a funny looking move. I don't know why, but it just looks pretty funny to me. I guess it isn't. Wow, bishop g7. Damn. Okay, this looks so weird to me. I don't know why, but the bishop and the knights in this, <laughs> on the side of the board of the other po the other player, or the other engine, in this case, this just looks very weird. Bishop a8. This is the kind of weird moves the engines play when they got a lot of time on their hands. Uh, knight g5. So this is the first and actually the only inaccuracy of the game, according to the chess.com evaluation. Apparently, knight g5 was better. But I don't really see why this is such a bad move. I mean, it isn't a terrible move. It's a decent one. But an inaccuracy, according to chess.com. King e7 and g4. Not taking the pawn. I guess if we take the pawn, if Slavish takes the pawn, there might be some kind of a discovery trick with the knight and the bishop. So I assume that's why. But g4, f6. Wow, that's a brilliant move. Why is it a brilliant move? So if ta it takes... Oh, what? Really? And this is a post pawn and it's promoting. Wow, that's an insane move. And it's hard... Wow, you can't really... Oh, what? No, the king can't get closer. This pawn is just going to promote unless... I guess you have to sack a piece back for it. Like going here and here. And then taking with the knight. Wow, that's pretty insane. That's an insane move. Like, this is an engine move that would be played with a lot of time. And that's exactly what's happened. And, oh wow, they actually played it out. At h5, wow. I didn't expect them to play it out. But they do, yeah? Knight e5. Yeah, because of this. If knight e5... I don't know why e, knight e5 is alright because of this. That's why it's a brilliant. That isn't as impressive as, uh, of a brilliant as as what Stockfish was, but it's, I guess, a brilliant. We have h7 and knight g6, of course. Rook f5 and rook c6. Rook f8. Brilliant move. Yeah, because if you take, then queen... And we're also attacking the bishop, I guess. Stockfish is attacking the bishop. Okay, so we have c6. <laughs> wow. A lot of brilliance here. So, yeah, takes bishop there. And bishop b2. Obviously, defending the promotion. We have promote. Takes. Check. King g2. Rook c2. King g3. Rook there. Uh, rook here, takes, there, check. To me, this is, looks like black was winning, but it's actually a, pretty much a draw. Wow, knight f7, check, king f5, rook there, takes, takes. Huh. So, yeah. Here Stockfish is down the knight, but this is theoretically as a draw. If Stockfish manages to trade the rooks, it's just a draw. And let's see what happens. I'm just gonna fast forward on this, because we all know this is a draw with correct play. Yeah. Okay, so this is just a lot of random stuff is happening here. I believe they actually... I don't wanna... Oh, actually I can't spoil. I believe what's happened was that they... Played until the 50 game rule. And then it was a draw. So I'm just going to play this out quickly. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Check, 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 check. Okay, so it was just a draw. And if you wonder about the accuracy of the game, it was pretty damn insane. We have 99.3% accuracy from Stockfish and 99.3% accuracy from Komodo Dragon. Both sides played two brilliant moves. And it was only one inaccuracy in the entire game. The game was very long, it was 113 moves long, so I guess that's all for this video, if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you would like to, and comment down below if you would like me to 
may pair any engines with any time format or any position or something, just comment it down below and I'll be happy to do it. So thank you for watching, see you later, peace out.